the promise of limitless clean energy. A feat of scientific innovation decades in the making. A revolutionary technology that could transform the global energy landscape. The world's largest experimental nuclear fusion reactor has arrived, and it could be a game changer. Deep in the mountains of Japan, a monumental machine has come to life. Surrounded by scientists in a towering containment building, this colossal device has powered up for the first time. It's called the JT-60SA, a nuclear fusion reactor on a scale we've never seen before. Housed at the prestigious National Institutes for Quantum Science and Technology, this experimental facility aims to create the same nuclear reactions that fuel stars, reactions that could one day power our civilization. What is this groundbreaking technology, and why has it captivated the world? Nuclear fusion is the process that powers our sun and all the stars in the universe. Atomic nuclei fuse together under immense pressure and temperature to generate vast amounts of energy. Harnessing this reaction on Earth could provide virtually unlimited clean electricity to meet our growing energy demands. But recreating the environment of the stars has proven incredibly difficult, requiring advanced superconducting magnets, complex plasma physics, and global collaboration between scientists. JT-60SA represents the cutting edge in the decades-long, multi-billion dollar quest for fusion energy. And this reactor is truly enormous. Towering over four stories tall and weighing over 2,700 tons, JT-60SA contains a vacuum chamber over five meters wide. This chamber houses a roiling mass of plasma heated to an astounding 200 million degrees Celsius, 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. The plasma is suspended in place by powerful superconducting electromagnets chilling at negative 200 degrees Celsius. With its enormous plasma volume and advanced magnetic field, JT-60SA will allow fusion reactions to be sustained for over a minute, setting new records for a controlled fusion reaction. But JT-60SA is more than just a showcase of bleeding-edge technology. This ambitious project was also decades in the making, requiring immense coordination between scientists across Japan, Europe, and around the world. First proposed in the 1980s as an upgrade to Japan's smaller JT-60 fusion reactor, JT-60SA spent years languishing on the drawing board. But in 2007, the ambitious project finally leapt forward when the EU and Japan formalized the broader approach agreement. This landmark partnership called for Japan to construct JT-60SA in Europe to build ITER, an even larger experimental reactor currently under construction in France. JT-60SA and ITER were to become sister projects, advancing fusion science hand in hand. Under the broader approach, Japan took the lead on JT-60SA while the EU spearheaded ITER, with both sides contributing scientific expertise and funding. This collaborative framework marked a new era of global cooperation to achieve the dream of fusion power. But the road to completion was far from smooth. Construction began on JT-60SA in 2013, but technical challenges and budget issues soon led to major delays. Redesigns were needed after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake impacted facility requirements. Short circuits damaged critical components during testing phases, setting the project back years. In the face of numerous setbacks that pushed the timeline back over five years, some even questioned whether JT-60SA would ever become operational. But the scientists remained staunchly committed to the promise of fusion. And finally, after 15 grueling years, assembly of JT-60SA was declared fully complete in late 2022. The massive reactor now stood fully assembled, ready for its moment in the fusion spotlight. Against all odds, JT-60SA had persevered. October 2022, the day of reckoning had finally arrived for the JT-60SA team. After 15 years of design and construction, their monumental reactor was ready for its defining moment. The world watched and waited in eager anticipation as power surged into JT-60SA's enormous electromagnetic coils, forming an invisible magnetic cage within the core. 
gas poured into the vacuum chamber. An immense electric currents transformed the gas into a swirling plasma over 100 million degrees Celsius, 10 times hotter than the surface of the sun. JT-60SA had come alive. The reactor's complex systems were igniting in perfect synchrony to give birth to this blazing hot ball of plasma. While just a brief three-second burst, this first plasma represented a momentous milestone. The inaugural activation sequence validated that JT-60SA's cutting-edge magnets, heating systems, diagnostics, and control programs all performed flawlessly. Years of dreaming, designing, and delicately assembling components had led to this triumphant moment. Scientists in the control room watched with joy and relief as the experimental reactor sprung to life exactly as intended. One researcher described the feeling of first plasma as surreal after so many years dedicated to this goal. But the fleeting burst was only the beginning. Longer and hotter plasma burns awaited as JT-60SA edged closer to fusion energy gain. With first plasma, the reactor cleared its most crucial hurdle, proving the integrated system ready for nuclear fusion at the cutting edge of science. On November 11th, 2022, JT-60SA made headlines across the scientific world when it smashed the plasma duration record for any controlled fusion device. Just weeks after first plasma, JT-60SA went on to generate and sustain a swirling vortex of plasma for a staggering 100 seconds, over a minute and a half. This represented a giant leap forward from previous tokamak reactors that could only maintain plasma for a few seconds at a time. To achieve this milestone, JT-60SA's powerful electromagnets accelerated the plasma to an incredible 200 million degrees Celsius, 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. Scientists pushed the experimental reactor to its absolute limits, more than doubling the prior plasma duration record. But it wasn't just about making headlines with a big number. This sustained 100 second burn provided scientists with crucial data on how plasma behaves under extreme temperature and density, approaching that needed for fusion energy gain. While brief three second bursts demonstrate capabilities, only an extended burn reveals insights into plasma instabilities and energy confinement, critical prerequisites for harnessing fusion. The record-breaking plasma shot proved JT-60SA's ability to replicate conditions similar to those expected in future fusion power plants. Researchers called the achievement an important validation of JT-60SA's operational range, a range purpose-built to enable groundbreaking advances toward fusion energy. With stable plasma control proven, JT-60SA shifts focus to pushing the boundaries even further. A historic new era of fusion research has begun. While not designed to generate electricity itself, JT-60SA serves as an ideal testbed for nurturing the technology needed to make fusion power a reality. And everything about JT-60SA is optimized specifically for this purpose. First, the massive volume of JT-60SA's plasma chamber allows fusion fuel to be trapped within its magnetic containment field for over a minute, a feat no previous reactor has matched. This extended burn time will enable precise tuning of plasma conditions to maximize fusion energy output. Second, JT-60SA can reach plasma temperatures up to an astounding 200 million degrees Celsius, easily replicating the blazing conditions expected in future fusion power plants. No nuance of advanced plasma physics will escape JT-60SA's immense operational range. Finally, JT-60SA employs the same superconducting magnet technology and cryogenic cooling systems planned for electricity-generating reactors. This allows direct transfer of operational know-how to future commercial applications. With its expansive plasma volume, extreme temperature range, and advanced superconducting magnets, JT-60SA mimics fusion power plants of the future, but in a flexible research form. So if scientists can achieve the legendary energy gain milestone in JT-60SA, it strongly signals the technology's readiness for real-world energy production. JT-60SA is 
purpose-built to drive fusion all the way from science into commercial feasibility. JT60SA and ITER have been linked since their inceptions as part of the EU-Japan broader approach. And JT60SA will provide vital data, operational experience, and technology validation to accelerate ITER's own fusion research. As the largest tokamak fusion reactor in history, ITER aims to be the first fusion device to achieve self-sustaining burn and positive energy gain. But realizing such monumental goals will require major advances across the fusion field. Advances JT60SA will deliver. The reactors will even run complementary deuterium-tritium fuel cycles. Much of JT60SA's design specifically targets generating research to optimize ITER's eventual plasma operations. JT 60 SA scientists also coordinate closely with ITER teams, sharing information and resources. Research gleaned from JT60SA will fast-track solutions to ITER's own engineering and plasma confinement challenges. In many ways, JT60SA and ITER represent two pillars holding up the bridge to fusion energy, each one reinforcing and empowering the other. The operational launch of JT60SA comes at an exciting time for the entire fusion community. After making steady but incremental progress over decades, nuclear fusion technology seems poised for major advances. JT60SA and ITER will drive this momentum even faster. Within a few years, JT60SA researchers hope to reach 100 million degree plasma in astounding 1,000 seconds almost 20 minutes. ITER also progresses steadily towards initial plasma around 2025. Some government reports suggest viable commercial fusion power within the next few decades. Combined with new private fusion ventures like Commonwealth Fusion Systems, the fusion age may arrive sooner than many expect. Of course, immense challenges remain. The practical difficulties of fusion energy have thwarted overzealous predictions before, but with coordinated support from international collaborations like JT60SA and ITER, experts are more confident than ever in fusion's promise. JT60SA's very existence seems to exemplify how far the field has come. When nuclear fusion was first proposed as an energy source almost a century ago, it was considered fantasy, as unrealistic as building a perpetual motion machine. But today, we stand on the precipice of making this fantasy a reality. And we owe immense credit to the visionary scientists who dreamed it was possible, and the tireless researchers who dedicated their lives to making it so. After decades of setbacks and slow progress, Fusion Energy's time may have finally come. The massive JT60SA reactor gives us a glimpse of what this technology could become. Clean, limitless energy to raise the prosperity of all humanity. Nuclear fusion offers a bright hope for our energy future. And with the powering up of the world's largest fusion reactor, that future just drew one step closer. The promise of fusion is waiting to be unleashed. JT60SA proves we now have the capability to set it free. The age of fusion is dawning.